John Calipari joins us. Thank you so, so much for, uh, for connecting with us uh, from Lexington. And um, I, got a, I got a question. So you, you watch game two, and one of your guys hits this dramatic game winner to break the heart of another one of your players in, in Jamal Murray. So uh, tell me the emotions you feel in a time like this. And do you reach out to those guys after a game like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, uh, well, you feel bad for Jamal, the way they played to get back in the game. And, um, and, and Joker goes and scores one next to the basket. And because Charles said that Anthony's not aggressive, he comes down and makes a little runner. And then he makes the last 10 points, but the three to win the game. But I was happy for Anthony, but I'm looking at Jamal saying this kid, and I just hit him after and said, you guys did everything right. And I said, a Kentucky guy makes a big shot. You lose. And Co he just, you know, I just tell these guys, you go on to the next game in that league. Coach Shaq here. Uh, at what point as a coach do you make the determination when you bring a big guy into your program to say, you know what? Uh, I see you have the ability to shoot jumpers. I'm not going to let you play in the post. I'm going to let you play on, on, on the uh, uh, outside. Well, the first thing is they got to master the game from seven, eight feet and in. And then they start stretching out. Um, and that's with all the big guys we've had here. Um, but, you know, Anthony, mm -hmm. when he needed the basket, he would run to the post and do that jump hook that he had. Um, Carl Towns, the same. Carl Towns shot all threes in high school. We had to get him to say, hey, man, you got to play pick and roll defense, be able to guard a guard, can't just be worried about shooting threes and rebounding. And you look at him and it helps. But, Jack, you, you know, sometimes I don't have well, – I'll give you an example, Bam. Bam is the first. He created a new position, point center. They've got point wing and this and point – he's a point center that guards five positions, that can pass it, that can fly – that block, oh, my gosh, was crazy. Um, you know, those guys, he didn't do all that with us, but we saw signs of it. You know, Coach, you know, I always wonder when you, you have a guy in your program that is, you know, when they walk in, they have a, a lottery number on their head already. And then you're trying to implement them in such a short period of time. What is your strategy what is your thought process when they come into your program? Or, you know, I, I see it at other schools, obviously, you know, North Carolina, Duke, they have the same kind of thing at times. But you've had it over years and years. What is that thought process that you have with them? Kenny, a lot of stuff that we do here uh, was modeled after what Coach Smith was doing. Uh, during the season, it's about us. When the season ends, it's about you, son. Uh, right now, let's do this together. I just got to tell you, I've had one 20-point score at Kentucky. Jamal Murray, one. Everybody else, you know, you had an 18, 19, 19, five. He's the one that broke 20 because he could do it in so many ways. But part of it is they got to be built different coming in. I mean, you remember back in the day where if you went to North Carolina, you weren't going to be the only guy that could play. You're going to have eight, nine other guys that can play. The difference was... You guys stayed longer. I'm getting them in, and within two years, most of the guys go. Sometimes they're three or four years, but, uh, you know, it starts on the way in. You know, you're not going to be promised the world. You come here because you're built for this. You leave here built different. Um, you're willing to sacrifice for each other, be a great teammate. What do you do to win when you're not scoring? And you look at all these guys we have in the league, they're doing other stuff when they don't score. Well, uh, number one, I want you to uh, thank you for taking my question first. And I was going to ask you about Bam because he's been unbelievable. So thank you for taking my question. So now since you took my question, I'm going to get to my second question. How many <laughs> points do you want when y'all coming down to Auburn this weekend with them little lightweight Kentucky Wildcats? How many points you want for Ooh. dinner, Cal? Whoa, Charles, Charles, I'll shave this beard if Auburn wins. If you grow a beard, what would your beard be? Would it be, <laughs> would it be white? Would it be white or would it be yours? Would be white like this, Charles? Cal, You're getting Cal, old. You're Cal. getting old. I, I, I've never grown a beard because I think America deserves to see the money maker. I don't want to cover it up. Whoa. But <laughs> if you, uh, I can't grow a beard. I'm not gonna lie. I want people to see this beautiful face. But let me tell you this. You'll shave 
if Auburn beats Kentucky this weekend? No, no. Kentucky's winning that game. Kentucky, Auburn ain't winning that game. Kentucky's winning that game. It's going to be a war. I wish I could go down. You know I'd be right there on the sideline. Oh, uh, uh, you want me to call net just for you right now? I'll get you down and get you a ticket. <laughs> Chuck, hey, I'm big down at Auburn. I can get you a seat. Hey, can we do this? Can I talk about Tyler Hero and Ennis Cantor? And, yeah, you know, yes. How about, Ty- how about Tyler Hero? How about this kid? And you know what? Again, how does he play the most minutes in the fourth quarter for the Miami Heat? Because he rebounds. How about this? They said he couldn't guard. Well, if you're playing in Kentucky, if you don't guard, you don't play. He guards. He rebounds. He's throwing passes that I haven't seen. And I made a comment. He got elephant things because he ain't afraid. He's not afraid to make the game winner. He's not afraid to miss the game winner. Neither is Anthony. Cal, you remember when I came on your bus when y'all beat us down at Auburn? Is that the one where I peed on your statue out front of the building? <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky came down to Auburn. Uh, we were both ranked. I think they were ranked in the top five. We were ranked between 15 and 20. And I walked on the bus. What, in the football Cal- or basketball? In basketball. Y'all were ranked in basketball a couple years ago? Uh, went to the Final Four last year, and we stomped North okay. Carolina. Don't forget okay. that. Oh, that, yeah. You I got the video up. tape. I can send you, you can a copy. Keep it. Keep it, because it ain't copy. coming around. Continue again. with the story. But I said, Coach, can I say hello to Tyler Hero? And he said, sure. And I told the kid, I said, yo, man, that's one of the best college basketball games I've ever seen. Uh, He was terrific. They beat us. Uh, It went down the stretch. But I walked up to him. I had never met him before. He was sitting on the bus. I I didn't want to interrupt Cal on the bus. I said, young man, that's one of the best games I've ever seen. So, Cal, I I saw that when he when he got. He's a stud, man. How about the shots that he made, even in that game, like, that mattered? See, here's one of the reasons, whether it's Devin or... You know, you look at Shea, you know, Hami did some good stuff. I'm going to leave guys off. PJ was good. But they, every game we play is that way. You learn to play in big games where shots matter. You're not playing horse. Like, there, it's a sellout. It's, and Kenny, you got, when you were at North Carolina, you knew what it was. How, yeah. who was on your team? Who were the other pros on your team, Kenny? The, well, there was uh, Brad Doherty, uh, Joe, Joe Wolf, Wolf. Je- Dave Popson. Um, Brad Doherty. You said that. Oh, I, uh, and then there was a guy. Uh, he he Mike, looking for other Mike, guys who oh, can play. Mike, Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. He was on that team, yeah. too. J.R. Reed, uh, you know, played with J.R. Reed. St- Scott Wait, Williams. you had all them guys? Scott Williams. Did y'all win it all the time then? Dude, we was, we was ranked number one every year I was there. Did you win it every year? All them guys you no, named? Y'all all I, think that, year. I think my sophomore year we beat Auburn and sent them home. With, I'm just asking you, with, with all them guys you just named, <laughs> y'all should have won like five or six championships in a row. We were close every year. We were there. Hey, Just Shaq, Kyle understands I gotta, the, I, the, I gotta, being, the, being close, what that means. <laughs> sometimes you win it, sometimes you're just Shaq, close. One of my mentors, dear dear friends, there you go. Uh, Shaq, I got to tell you, one of my dear friends, my mentor is Dale Brown, um, one of the great people that coached you uh, of all time. Just a good person, a terrific basketball coach. And Charles, he will tell you he won the most games against Kentucky. L.A., mm. Coach Brown. Of course we did, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know why, Coach? You know why, Coach? I had a guy named Jamal Mashburn trying to guard me. Come on, Coach. <laughs> Come on, Coach. Watch That's barbecue chicken boy. alert. Watch That's Cajun chicken boy. alert, Coach. <laughs> no, he's a bad boy. No. John hey, Calipari. I, hey, I got to say this. Yeah. Charles, I do not pee on Shaq's statue. Thank I you, do Coach. not pee on that statue. I pee Thank on you. yours, though. Hey, hey, I cannot wait till Saturday, buddy. I'll call you Saturday night after the beatdown. Okay.